Hello everyone, and welcome to episode 17 of Armored Core for Answer. Unfortunately for me, I forgot to hit the record button on my Elgato when I recorded this just now. So, I'm a little, uh, so yeah, I kind of recorded audio but not video, so I'm just going to redo the whole thing. Thankfully I kind of didn't save, so whatever. Uh, well, uh, well, I haven't been able, I wasn't able to upload last week because people were kind of uh, was it? my family, my family, my brother had his spring break, and when he's around, I don't really do anything because he's a little loud, and I don't want to kick him out to like another room or something. Oh, here I'm just removing all the stabilizers on this build because I think they look dumb. I don't care, I think they look dumb. And uh, this is like an alternate like quad build I was working on, where it has the same like slug gun, spread zook, and. A machine gun, but on the back I put a giant Gatling cannon, and I want to know how well that will work. Well, I might put like a, a like a regular rifle on the right hand, just so I have something I can do with me. Whatever, I'll save this design, and I'll switch over to my uh, overhauled light rush joint. Because after a series of PvP matches, I discovered that I really do not have any energy efficiency on that build whatsoever. So I went and I bought a bunch of parts, and holy fuck, it can fly now! It can fly! I also have started to save a couple of builds because I found out that you can't, uh, you can't like, uh, you can't switch parts on your ACs without loading a different AC in multiplayer. Or at least in the competitive multiplayer. This is my light restaurant. Right? It's got, uh, it's very light, does not have a lot of defenses, moves pretty fast, and has tons of energy. So there's that. So here is AC Ruler, who has a female pilot, as I learned when I was reading the flavor text last time. She's, uh, in from what I thought her, she's like stupidly fast and also really aggressive, but also kind of like has the simple AI, so it's really easy to just bait her into attacks. Also, those PvP matches I mentioned, all of you uh, post commenting over those and uploading them, hopefully today or tomorrow. Probably today. If I try to do it tomorrow, who knows what will happen. Alright. Since I'm slightly more awake now, hopefully I won't get wrecked like I did last time where I just took a bunch of them before they use Alright, come on. Get on the ground. Get on the ground where I can shoot you with my enemies. I thought no, I think there was actually one match in the PvP thing where I kind of exploded myself in the face of the grenade. That'll be fun to do to commentate over. Alright, stop it. Where are you? I also discovered that this build, while well fun and fairly effective, is not very good at some of the early level stuff just because it has very short range it has very short ranked weapons. And So as I mentioned, uh, th this uh, AC ruler is very nice. Alright, where the hell are you? No way in hell you're gonna make me run out of grenades, I'll play that right now, you have to hold that one. I was like, I find it kind of odd that um this AC seems to be like using the um Nope. Seems to like using those spread missiles so much, even though they don't really seem to hit very much. Aggressive. I'm not hitting you. Oh, that was a blazer board right there, I know that. So the advantage of uh, AC Ruler's frame is that it's made out of a higher part, which have really high PA and a pretty fast and decent energy efficiency. 
So it's basically like a lightweight version of the Elite for it's better. And also you look like a jet. So that's cool. So that, that actually went slightly worse than the last one I did. But I think that was just because I was having a really hard time landing any shots. Otherwise I believe if you land some shots you can kill that pretty quickly. Someone actually linked me to a video where they where they killed Fragile in like under like four seconds or something ridiculous like that by hitting him with a Kojima missile. Another thing I also learned about that was kind of interesting is uh, missile adjusting, which is where you. What is it? Oh, yeah, where you you overboost forward to ex to make your missiles uh, launch faster when you shoot them. Sorry, right, this is we're, we're gonna redo the, the like that first like tutorial level where all the enemy NPCs are freaking out over how strong your mech is, even if you're a complete numb, because you can still destroy them. Most people should be able to destroy them. But uh, yeah, we're just gonna do this real quick. We're gonna do this in a few other missions. Mission. Destroy all line arc defense units. Elite next. Damn it, not now. Nope, forgot that I have my uh, laser blade equipped. I, I put on my laser blade just because it's kind of a waste to have a shotgun against enemies this week. I can just kill them all. With my and uh, like I mentioned earlier, I can kind of fly with this thing now. It's pretty nice. Oh, to be fair, like shotgun might have actually been a decent idea here because with those platforms right there, if you if you half the targets have been destroyed. That's half of them, yeah. So if you shoot a shotgun at them, it actually usually destroys the platform underneath them, which will let you, uh, which will kind of save you the ammo from shooting at them individually. So maybe I should have brought the shotgun. Who knows? I should probably get a, la a longer laser blade too because it'll make hitting things easier. Our standard weapons are useless. Yes, I'm aware of this. I like this laser blade a lot because it hits really fucking hard, but it's also like really short. So there's not much point in having something so short that like I miss most of the time when I get my trade swing through. Why you stun me? Also I believe that those normals are equipped with like some kind of missile launcher and a Baruka, which is probably why they hit decently hard. Although they don't move very much. Doop -ba -doo. It's all of them. Still kind of bad just because I'm a bad player. I should feel bad. Yeah, the shotgun is definitely good. Uh, as cool as laser blades are, they're really only. Th this particular laser blade is only useful against like certain types of targets, like on forks and stuff like that, where you just want to do a shit ton of damage all at once, and they're kind of easy to hit anyway. But whatever, I'm not going to redo that. It's not really much point. All right, now for this uh, naval port mission, I'm gonna I'm not gonna bring my machine gun because it goes through too much ammo. I'm gonna bring. Right, I'm, I'm gonna toss off the flares and the easy. I guess I can keep the gun. Nah, I'll bring this. I'll bring the slug gun. And then uh, we'll do it this way. So we're gonna go after the naval port mission because I don't believe we've done that one before. Uh, this is also actually no, no, we're supposed to look at the cutscene. Thing. So I don't believe I've done this mission before on this playthrough. The client is GA America. The objective is the Interior Union Force base. I'll point out something kind of funny about this blue thing. You'll be supplied with a generous amount of ordnance. Over there on the left. I will cost GA. Activate that loop. The more damage and destruction you cause, the better your pay will be. This information is unconfirmed, but we believe a new model arms fort is in dock for maintenance and supply. If it's there, don't let it get away. The client is offering a special bonus for its elimination. Well, that's about it. This is a good deal for the right links. We'll be waiting to hear from you. So basically, there is a port full of random boats and a couple of small defenses, and we just we're just gonna glow we're just gonna go in and blow shit up. So that's what we do as someone piloting a giant robot. If anything, again, what giant robots should always be about blowing things up. That's just how you have fun. Commence mission. And I, uh, dr Destroy not drowning is also a good idea. Time is limited. Move quickly. 
So uh, yeah, you want to move fast. So having a light mech here is actually a really good idea because uh, these boats don't have a lot of health. You can kill them pretty easily with like machine guns of the sort. It's more just that um, you want to get around quickly and then avoid getting a lot of their shots. Also, shots from stuff like uh, these normals that are controlling you. Nope, it's not how you get things. Yeah, you, okay, so I'm, yeah, I'm taking a shit ton of damage just by, uh, by blading these things. I'm gonna stop doing that. I should probably bring a rifle to get it it. Some, yeah, some of these things seem to be explosive. I don't know which ones are either. Okay. And also, if you move fast enough, then you should have plenty of time to get all the boats. Which is good. You know, you don't want to miss any boats. You don't want to miss any boats. Oh, boy. I believe that those subs or whatever they are that they're kind of like are the ones that explode when you get them. I'm gonna try to avoid them from this like that. Maybe it's not a sub, maybe it's just like a missile. No, it's this definitely. Maybe it's like a nuclear sub and that's why it explodes in your face. Kill that guy real quick. I don't think you're taking any damage from blading the regular boats. Oh, oh, I do, maybe. I don't know, I'm confused. I'm confused here. Which boats do I, which boats do I hit with my melee? Which boats do I hit with It seems like there's clearly some boats that explode and some boats that don't. Maybe it's the location. Maybe they all explode, but it's just like the thing where I hit them. Maybe I can take damage. But I'm clearly taking a lot of damage here. I wonder if this would be an easy mission to do in like a heavy mission. Arms board confirmed. That's our bonus right. target. There we go. It looks kind of like uh, looking at this thing. It definitely looks like it's a prototype version of Stevie or something like that. And the easiest way to kill this is just to get on top of it and swing a little bit a couple times. That's part of why. That's part of why I brought the laser blade. Also, I just realized I brought my slug gun for a reason. I should use it. Two minutes remaining. So basically, once you've gotten through to the orange port, you're basically at the end of the level, so you can kind of just go back and start doing shit. Anything else you blow up at this point is just free money, so blow up everything. Who are you? I know you are. Alright. They blew up everything here. Yeah, that's everything. So yeah, so let's just go back and see if we can catch things straggling before we leave. This is like one of the levels I've seen played the most just because it's so early in the game. Like, there'll be a couple times where I invite people over to my house and then I let them play you know, the first couple of levels of this game just so they can see how ridiculous it can be. One minute remaining. Finish up. Now we just gotta go find whatever the last little things are. And since this is an early mission, and it gives decent pay, it's definitely a mission you should try and like take seriously because you can get a lot of money with it. And uh, having money with it is good. Well, it's a buy shit. And unlike in the uh, fish on the board, you can't like farm a mission with it. Ah, it's everything. Mission complete. Well, last time I didn't get everything. I'm impressed. Excellent. You only got blown half in pieces. That's probably one of the downsides of this mech is that even though it seems to have decent PA, I'm also like made of paper. So even though I have a decent PA and AP, yeah, I, I got like a voice record in last night. So even though I have decent AP and PA, I don't know, there's, there's uh, alternative choice. So even though I have decent stats, excuse me again. So even though I have decent stats, I have pretty poor defenses to my knowledge, so I die kind of quickly. And so we're going to be doing the, the energy, the defense of the energy spheres or whatever mission. And I'm going to bring 
I'm not gonna bring a machine gun because it's kind of worthless in this. Just because like things move too quickly. I, mean, I, I, I might bring my quad. Let's bring the quad. You know, the quad has a lot of guns on it. No, that's not the AC test. That's not what I wanted to go. I want to go to design game. Why do this? I mean, that was I guess that was my fault entirely because I had to put too many times. But that AC right there looks weird. Like it looks like, like I don't know. It doesn't fit really well for the rest of the game or anything. I mean, the the core I think is cool, but like the legs and the arms are kind of. You know. Alright. The test. Go back into the menu, which is fast, thankfully. Look the designs. We're about 16 minutes now, so I can still do another mission or two. We're gonna load the quad. We're gonna stick a rifle on it for medium range shooting things. Yeah, I guess I can grab that one. Yeah, I want to. I want to buy that new one. It looks cool. Where is it? Yeah, that one looks cool. I'll take that one. Looks like a water gun. Actually. We're gonna take that. And we're gonna put that on this mech, and then we're gonna go and we're gonna blow the fuck away. So this next mission, pretty cool. And then it involves blowing the fuck out of everything, like most missions do. This is your mission. This request is coming from the Bernard and Felix Foundation. They want you to take out the enemy forces assaulting Omer's sphere. Some big shot of the BFF has drawn up the mission plan this time. So, you better listen up. Right now, the enemy forces are moving through White End towards the sphere. Blast through their rear column using the VOB and take out as many units as possible along the way. Once you've penetrated the front line, turn around and engage the survivors. So the plan says. It's not a bad plan. So, um, basically with this mission, it's kind of like that Giga base mission that we could do at the start, where you have to go after an orange fort by using a VOB to get to it. Except that with this one, where the focus is more on killing things that you find on the way there. And then uh, once you get to the end, you have to turn around and shoot back at everything that you missed. So it's uh, it's important to bring like fairly accurate weapons that you can use at like medium to long range here because everything you're going to be fighting is good. Commence mission. Use the VOB to break through the advancing enemy force. Do as much damage as you can on the way, and the rest of the mission will be a cakewalk. There we go. There's the cannon. Those. Oh, oh, those. I go. I can't miss that one. Okay. VOB nearly depleted. Prepare for normal battle maneuvers. Okay. When you VOB land right here, depleted. you're on board these things. Destroy all remaining enemy units. Hang in there. Damn, that was a rough one. Got this big ass turret over here. I'm gonna blow up all of these things as much as, as quickly as possible so they don't have to cause me to do damage to you. Also, one of the great ironies of AC is that, um. Okay, let's get this up in here. Alright. There's one. Stay focused and we'll pull through. Okay, there's another one. Okay, those two. Nope. Do not fight rock do not fight plants from inside a hole. Okay, where are they? Okay, there you go. That will hit you eventually. Okay, that's the last one dead. 
Okay. Okay. I believe we'll get the most of I got my right four and my Gatling cannon. Now you just gotta go play up the uh play up the Skyline Cannon is a it's really cool looking, but it's not very, uh, it's not very accurate. Okay. Jump. I know you're the quad, but... This is, and before this costs like a ton of ammo because I'm using like super giant weapons and like little... Yeah. There. Confirmed. All targets destroyed. Mission complete. <laughs> So yeah, quads are kind of cool in this one. Hey, that went better than when I did it with the LRJ. Probably because the LRJ has like grenades. We got some parts unlocked and some schematics. Uh, let's see if I can find the parts that we need. I don't, remember, I don't know which parts are unlocked in here. But I believe it's like... I believe this is new. Like, I don't think I've seen that before. This is new. There's a hand grenade. Ironically enough, it's not like what the hand grenade is normally people who want to place hand grenade. Blaze rifles, pulse guns, some blades, a storable blade. Which is pretty cool. Definitely something I would consider putting on like a medium to white I'm not sure if it's necessary to medium. Mm. And uh here's first the same thing for the different. Don't know what I don't know what's new here. Although there is this crazy additional booster you can put on the end for more speed. You want more speed. And uh, it shows up in both slots because it takes open slots. There's a cannon, grenade cannon, grenade cannons, chain guns, sniper cannon, sniper cannon, rockets, PM missile. Um, don't know what that means, but I can give the description. It says it's hard to avoid because it moves to your side. Scatter missiles, those are the ones that burst into a scatter of missiles. Oh, spread missiles are the ones that burst into a spread of missiles. Which one scatter missiles? No, fly as a wall of like I said, that's what I'm talking about. Spread missiles, split to multiple projectiles. So which one's different? Spread missiles, the spread missiles like fly as like separate individual missiles, while as the I think, th yeah, I think that's what it is. Spread missiles fly as individual missiles after they burst into more missiles, whereas scatter missiles fly as like a group. These are relation missiles. You can throw more missiles at things. And there's all these different cores. Lovely cores. Don't know how to build a quad, by the way. One of the ironies of this game is that uh, quads in the old games traditionally fight from the ground using their stability to use high end weapons like the Gatling cannon and what. Whereas quads in the new games they actually use their stability to float up really high in the air and rain down the fire and just become like flying fortresses. So these are supposed to be heavy with lots of defense. So they're heavy. They can carry more stuff than my current one. And they're stable, but they don't. But they turn even worse. They also cost less energy. And these are super light. I kind of want them, except for the fact that they, I think they look bad. I also can't carry all my giant heavy weapons. Maybe I should like buy a tank and build this. I should build a tank eventually. Just put like a bunch of guns in. It could be like riding. Um, I kind of want to start buying up random parts, but it's you know, the higher. That's supposed to be a good generator thing. Very expensive though. Is 
boosters, all the boosters. Like, I could take some boosters, I don't know which ones are supposed to be good though. Side boosters. I believe I can take those. I mean, I guess those make sense. There's too much. There's, I don't know if there's too many things that are. I mean, I could, I could probably build like a missile setup. Muscle shell. That's interesting. Standard high power missile that work for chain firing. So, I mean, that means, guess that means you shoot a bunch of them at once. I'll build something with missiles on it eventually. It'd be kind of cool. Or maybe something with weapon launch. Oh well. I think I wasted enough of your time staring at the uh, assembly and shop screen. So hopefully you all enjoy yourselves, and I will. What will I even do? I don't know. I guess I'm gonna end this, and I'm gonna and then I'm gonna start commentating on PvP matches. So I can upload those. So I hope you have a good day. Hope you play Armored Core, because if you don't, then why are you watching this? Because it's probably doesn't make sense to you for doing Armored Core. But it's still fun. Armored Core is fun. You should play. And uh, have a good day. See you all. Come back if you want to watch more of this. If you don't want to watch more of this, then I don't know why you're still watching this. But okay, bye. Have a good day.